Մենք կարծազրիսների շարքը եւ հիմա իմ հյուրն է Կալիֆորնիայի Սան Խոսե պետական ամալսանի նախկին ռեկտոր Մերի Փափազյանը։ Good afternoon Dr. Papazian. First of all, what are your impressions of this mission? Well, it, it's been first well very well organized. So I uh, want to give congratulations to the organizers. I especially love having the facilitators and all the young people who are helping us through our conversations. But the most interesting part for me has been the coming together of Armenians from all over the world who mm. care. And we are having wonderful debates. We disagree, no. uh, but we're, we're trying to listen to each other. Armenians sometimes <laughs> like to talk more. Is it possible here? Yeah. <laughs> but it's been very good, very lively, and people are very engaged. It's nice to hear. Uh, yeah. First of all, I would like to ask you uh, basically about educational mm -hmm. issues because uh, you come here, you bring with you your uh, cultural some uh, issues from United States, which is uh, obviously not for our, for us. I <laughs> mean, say because uh, usually we don't understand the modern education and what what is it, what yeah. is what's it for. And uh, is it possible to bring some modern education to Armenia, some culture from uh, West, and uh, bring it to Armenia and make it work here for us? Well, I think any change always has to make sense in the society in which it lives. So I don't think you can bring something from outside and uh, just put it on here and say, now it will grow. It has to be a conversation between mm -hmm. those ideas and what is here so that the right version comes out that's really going to work in the society here in Armenia. And uh, I, I think it's a very important conversation to have. I know the conversations are being had in a number of different venues. Uh, Armenia is a global nation. It competes in a global world. If we think about its industry, it's strong in IT, but it's developing its science. Historically, it's been strong. Science is a global pursuit. So much of what we do is not just local, but really is global. So it's important that our, our young people, as they go through their educational journey, mm -hmm. um, are able to compete at a global level. And that means bringing a different perspective mm -hmm. to the learning process. The other thing I would add here is that we're also educating students in a 21st century economy, mm -hmm. which is not the 20th century economy. Sure. The Armenian educational system was built for the 20th century economy. No, early 20th century. And, and the United States educational system in many ways was also built for the 20th century economy. But they so changed some things. Some things have changed, mm -hmm. some things haven't. So this is what we have to do. It's not so much trying to become something else. It's trying mm -hmm. to think about the kinds of education that this very different economy needs mm -hmm. and how do we ensure that Armenia is prepared and that its students have a chance to uh, be competitive in that environment. What about critical thinking that is uh, not totally but generally does not exist in Armenia, in Armenian educational system? Right. So is it possible to change something dramatically and right now? It's critical to change it mm. and there's no time to lose. There's an urgency to it actually sure. because we can't lose another generation. So yes, I think we need to feel and I do feel that people within Armenia feel the urgency. There's a lot of very good thinking that's happening in the country already around education reform. Mm. And um, the, the key with critical thinking is it's based on solutions to problems. Uh -huh. This is the change from the 20th to a 21st century mentality. We now have information at our fingertips. We can Google it, right? Sometimes sure. it's accurate, sometimes it's not, but we can find out what we need. So it's no longer sharing information, sharing knowledge, and mm -hmm. having the learner absorb that knowledge. Now it's, as you say, it's thinking critically about it. Why? Because the problems we have to uh, address today mm -hmm. are complex problems. And they sure. demand and they require human thinking, right, from different perspectives and experiences to really come up with solutions mm -hmm. that make sense. And this means changing the pedagogy. It also means changing the role of the teacher. Sure. And this is where cultural change can sometimes sure. be a challenge. Sure. And uh, let's talk about the education in Armenian in diaspora aspect. 
So, uh, for example, I, uh, as I know about you, so you, yeah. you did have education based on Armenian, first in the school, based on Armenian issues, so you know Armenian language, but uh, what about next generations? And is it possible to be Armenian with no interest in Armenian language? What, what do you think? Well, that's a very loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a hard one. I think we want to encourage mm -hmm. uh, Armenians to learn the language. We have to decide which language they're learning. There's the Eastern Armenian, Always, which is yes. here. There's Western Armenian, which is what I grew up learning and I think is the, is the language of the poets. It's a very beautiful sure, language. Sure, of course. Uh, so they both matter, I think, very much. Look, for me, what I care about first and foremost is that Armenians, wherever they might live, whatever their experience, see themselves as Armenian in some way. And for some people, language will be primary. For others, it might be mm. other things first. But if they have enough exposure, they'll start to want to learn because they want to communicate. And sure. they're used to living in a global society that has multiple languages. And so learning Armenian becomes another cool thing to do. We need to make it cool. We should be sure, developing sure. very cool technology solutions mm. for learning language that teach Armenian as a second language. When I was going through school, and this was in Los Angeles, I went to an Armenian day school, the language of the school was English, and we had a, a pre-college curriculum, but we took Armenian language classes. They didn't know how to teach somebody like me, mm -hmm. because most of the students were the immigrants, the children of Armenian speakers, they were what we call heritage speakers. Yeah. I was truly learning as a second language because my family, I'm fourth generation in California. My family's been in the United States on my mother's side since the 1880s, so a very long time. So I needed a different kind of curriculum. That is being developed now. Mm -hmm. I think there's more of it, but I think we can do a lot more still. My children went to the Armenian, you know, once a week school. You can't learn a language so that way. So it's for about 150 years, generations, that they know they are yeah. Armenian and uh, yeah. they know... Your, by the way, uh, do your children know Armenian language? My children or have been to Armenian school mm -hmm. once a week. They understand some things when they hear it. They've learned their alphabet. Uh -huh. Uh, but uh, no, they're not. They're not um, well, fluent. So they need to spend more time. We want to bring them here yes. and have them spend some time here where they can be absorbed in it uh, and learn that way. What do you think? What uh, the future Armenian people, he or she, should know or should do in the future? <laughs> Well, you know, I think Armenians are a very special people. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Very, and I don't diverse. say that because I'm Armenian. I actually believe it because we are very much a global nation. Yeah. We have a heart here, but we have global communities. Mm -hmm. And we're a very forward looking. We look back at our history. We love to do that. Um, and we look back at our differences, sure. which is sometimes a challenge for us. Uh, but what we're doing here, I think, is trying to look forward and imagine a very different kind of uh, future for Armenia. We have an extraordinary next generation. Whenever I come here, I see it. Um, when I'm out in uh, the communities uh, in, 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 in the United States and in Europe and in other places, I see it there as well. And so I think being able to um, really provide the best opportunity for our next generation uh, so that they really can continue to build a thriving Armenia here, but strong partnerships mm. where Armenia is known around the world uh, for all the right reasons. That would be my hope. Anam Papazian, uh, Dr. Papazian, thank you very much for a very interesting uh, interview. Thank you very much for your interview.